Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to shop my stash and show you guys this full face tutorial right here. If you are not familiar with this series on my channel, this is basically where I go through all my makeup, pick out some things that I want to wear that are not new. So nothing new here, just some goodies that I wanted to revisit and show you guys a look with. So let's go ahead and just jump straight into this. The first thing I grabbed for is the La Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Foundation. I have two shades here because I have to mix them. I have two in one cashew and three in one buff. Now the reason why I grabbed this is because I randomly grabbed it the other day and I was like, I don't know, I put it on and I liked it more than I did initially. I don't know what, what happened, but this is why you should shop your stash. Sometimes things that you're just kind of like, okay, well, this is fine. You know, maybe not amazing or not bad either, but you use them and then all of a sudden it works really well. So I'm going to see if it works well again today. And I have to mix just because one of them's too light and the other one's too dark. So yeah. And Sonia Kashuk sponge. I'm trying to get my face and neck to match all this darkness over here. <laughs> Just saw all these little red dots on my forehead up here. I was like, what happened? <laughs> then I realized it's from my hat. I use a hat, like a little beanie, to make my hair lay down. Like I need to dye it and cut it today, but when it gets this long, it starts getting fuzzy. So I just put on a beanie right before I film, and you guys will see that a lot of times too, like when I'm filming my eye tutorials, I have a beanie on just to make my hair flat. For concealer, I'm going in with a Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. What color are you? Light pale is what it says. It's been so long since I have used this. I'm going to set underneath my eyes using the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder and that tiny little sponge from Sonia Kashuk as well. But I am not going to bring this too far out initially because I'm going to be using a cream bronzer. And the cream bronzer I'm going to use is from Chanel. This is the Soleil Tan de Chanel. Mine is disgusting. Real Techniques Buffing Brush to press this into my skin. Now that I have the bronzer on, I'm just going to bake a little bit more right at my pores. And then Delium 974, I'm just going to take this on the rest of my face as well. I'm going to go ahead and dust off where I baked. And then I'm just going to take the darker shade out of my bronzer duo from Jouer. This is sunlight and suntan and I'm just going to go down the sides of my nose because I don't like using creams on my nose. This is a MAC 221. I don't get real fancy with this. I just don't want my nose to be lost. <laughs> For blush I'm going to go in with Ray Beam from MAC. This is one of their mineralized ones and this is a MAC 129 but this is the natural hair version. For highlighter, I'm going in with Chanel because this is when I'm allowed to use my limited edition stuff. And this is the Place Lumiere de Chanel. I don't know, it looks like this. Linda Hallberg 306. To buff today, I'm going to go in with my La Mer Press Powder. This is the shade number light. Number light. It's light number 12. Setting spray before I do my eyes because last time I did this eye look, I messed it up because I drenched my face and then I opened up my eyes and it creased and I'm just not trying to have that happen today. So this is the Glam Glow Glow Setter. I'm just going to set my face. Now I pulled out some of my Sydney Grace shadows and popped it in this cute little Tarte palette. And these are the shadows I am working with 
today. I did this kind of look in one of my past videos and you guys really wanted to see it. So I changed it up just a smidgen, but these are the shades we're using. I do believe that Sydney Grace is having a July, like Christmas in July sale. Hopefully it's still going on whenever I actually put this out. If not, it, it, should, it should still be there, but I also have a code for you guys. I don't think it's going to work during that sale. It's not a commission code for me, but it will be down below. But let's go ahead and jump into the eye look. I'm first going in with Embrace on a Zoeva 227, starting on the outer corner. And then I'm going to work this up. I'm really going to blow this out because it's going to be like smoky eye look. And this shade is going to be my transition shade. So as less amount of product is on my brush, I am going to be working it upward. And I'm going to keep going back in and adding. And make sure I tuck it on this little inner corner right here, as well as blow it out on the outer half. Same shade on the lower lash line with a MAC 221. Make sure to connect all the way on this outer corner. Same 221 and now I'm taking Unpredictable. I'm putting this into my crease and all around because I want to go ahead and blend this into the crease before I add it all over the lid. And I'm bringing this up slightly but not going to pass up the last shade we did. Same color, running it along the lower lash line. Taking that same shade and packing it all over the lid with a Delium 777. Linda Hallberg 333 and Backroads. I'm pressing this right up against the lash line and then kind of blending it out. I'm also going to pop this right up against the lashes on the lower lash line. MAC 228 and Wintertime on the inner corner. So eyes are done. NARS Via Veneto in the inner and lower rim. Mascara, capiche, capache. And then I went ahead and lined my lips because I had to get smack dab up against this mirror to line my lips. And this is the Chanel number 34, also known as my favorite lip liner of all. All time. And now I'm going to go in with another oldie but a goodie. This is Dior's Incognito. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed shopping my stash with me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.